the conversations around expansion will happen after the NBA media deal completes. I wonder what that process is going to look like. I think fans want to know there's a lot of cities out there, Vegas, Seattle, Nashville, maybe Mexico City, that feel like they're prime candidates. What from the, the league office is that going to look like? We haven't set that process yet, but just based on historical precedent, um, generally we formed a committee of our governors. Often it's either an expansion committee or sometimes an existing committee takes jurisdiction of the process. But one of our goals is to be very clear and transparent because we've received inquiries from many different potential buyers in many different cities. And I just want to make sure everyone feels fairly treated here. And it's why I've gone out of my way when I'm asked to say, this is only on one track. There aren't private conversations happening right now. No one has an inside track to getting a deal done that at the time we will, with our committee, look at the cities that are interested, um, talk to the groups that are interested, and then go from there. But um, it's, we, we've really drawn a, a bright line here to say to potential interested parties, thank you, but we're not ready to start that process yet. As you said in your question, we do think it's important that we finish this set of media deals, in part so that any possible potential buyer, um, and we understand what the economics are, so nobody's guessing as to what the, which, and media is our most important form of revenue, so then that will be known as, they're, as we're assessing what the value is of a potential expansion team. So once they get the brand new TV deals done, if they decide to have two brand new franchises enter in, those owners will have to make up the difference in them splitting the pie up 32 ways. And as far as Mexico City, that would be a good thing for the league. But at the same time, the governments in Mexico are not in full control of the country when dealing with those cartels. But they do have the population. And as far as travel, that's going to be important. The airport, do they have access to international travel, which I'm sure they do. That's going to be a major thing for a lot of these cities because now the NBA is globalized. In the past few seasons, we've seen fans hold up signs throughout various arenas in the United States that they've traveled for over 60,000 miles to come to see a lot of these players. So the audience now is becoming way more globalized and, and it's almost become a pilgrimage for a lot of the global audience to take the trips to Indianapolis, Oklahoma City, LA, New York, Miami to come see their favorite players. And make no mistake about it, the global audience does not necessarily care about Oklahoma City or Indiana being a small market place. They're specifically coming to see the stars.